as I waited at JFK for my plane to take me to Moscow and Kazakhstan. I can't fathom what lies ahead of me. Wispy fragments of Jana's shy smile in the picture and video stick with me, as does her alert and curious dark eyes. Eyes that seem to try to take in everything all around her. The family who videotaped you thought you were adorable too, and further along in development than other babies at the baby house. Getting your room ready for you was such a tremendous joy. Sheets and bunting on the bed, pictures on the wall, hanging as stars and mobile. Felt like a celebration. I've finally been permitted to begin. I looked at your room often in the following days till I left, imagining your reactions to each little thing you saw. Your dad, too, imagined going to take you out of the crib. We often joked about whose turn it would be to play with you and that your brothers would try to hoggle the playtime. Our wedding day a week ago was stupendous, but seems faint next to my vision of going to get you. So um, the taxi driver, Yori, drove us, all of us families, um, over to baby house number one. And we were all in a big room with like only one table and a piano in the corner. And they brought the babies in one by one. And when I saw Jana, I was ecstatic. My eyes lit up. She looked scared, sad. There was no light in her eyes at all. And so we spent the next two weeks visiting together and playing on the floor. And I videotaped her um, playing and I got to feed her um, this kind of like oatmeal kind of gruel with crushed cookies in it and gave her um, a bottle and apple juice. And, you know, I had a lot of questions about what was going on behind the scenes. And so one day I weaseled my way back into the back rooms where the caregivers were taking care of the babies. And I saw Jana and other babies in these large play pens, like five in each play pen with like maybe one or two rattles and just kind of laying there, not doing anything. And I also saw some of the babies were propped up against the, the railings of the playpen and they were seated on little potties like they were trying to get them to use the potty because they don't have diapers there they use sheets and another thing i saw that was really upsetting was how they fed the babies they would hold them on their lap and like tip them back and just put huge amounts of food like kind of like shoveling it in like how fast can i feed this kid so i can get on to the next one so after I had seen all of how the babies were taken care of and the baby house, that afternoon when I went home, I was just devastated at the conditions and I just cried and cried and cried for like an hour uh, with what I had seen and what my baby girl had to go through. It's, it's really cool that um, there were other people adopting at the same time as you did that, you know, in, in effect, you're, you're rescuing kids and giving them a chance to have, you know, a wholly, a whole different life, mm -hmm. you know, than they would have there. You know, a chance for education, play sports, friends. As the days went by, Jana became more and more alive and excited, and there was a light in her eyes. And one day I um, had gone on a trip to um, visit some Peace Corps volunteers, and um, I didn't see her until later in the day. And when I got there, the caregivers said, oh, she didn't sleep all, Jana didn't sleep all day. She, all she was saying was ma, 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 until I got there. So the big day came October 28th, 2002, and I had to go to court. I was extremely nervous 
because I was going as a single person and I did not know what questions they were going to ask me. Outside waiting to go to court where I will get to say that I want Jana and they will get to say yes, you can take her home. And so I was called in and they asked me lots of questions about, you know, why was I single? Why was I adopting because I was single? And who was gonna help me with the baby? You know, I had to talk about like, I had, you know, parents and brothers and sisters and I had a fiance and they said, well, why didn't you wait until after you got married? And I said, I'm only getting older. Cause and didn't you have to wait five years? I thought you had to be married for five years. Some programs were like Some that. Programs yeah, I don't think this one. After all of that, they finally approved the um, adoption. Then when I left, I got to go and visit Jana one more time in the baby house. I didn't take you home that day. They said, no, you need to wait until the morning because it was late in the day already. The next day, they brought Jana to me. and they had dressed her in the little snowsuit that I had brought, and we took a lot of pictures, and we took some video, and they, uh, I got in the taxi, or the car, with Yuri, and we were just sitting in the back seat. There was no ba uh, baby seat, no car seat, and they drive like 90 miles an hour there, so I'm just holding you as he's driving me back to the hotel. And I, I can remember the proud moment I felt when the customs officer said, as soon as she goes past that white line, she's an American citizen. Yep, that was super cool. That was super cool. And the flight attendants on the plane were so proud of us for adopting. They said, wow, what a wonderful thing. And they gave us a bottle of champagne to take with us. So, you know, I remember when we got in at, at 2 in the morning, there was at least half a dozen messages on the answer machine from my um, from Jana's new brothers, Matt and Dan. And uh, they just kept wanting to know, are you back yet, are you back yet? Because they wanted to come and see their, their sister. Um, and actually, um, I've always been so proud of them how they always, always called her their sister. You know, Dan and Matt never thought of her as a, a stepsister or anything else. You know, I'm just proud of that they always thought, this is my sister. This is the big day. I visited her for 14 days, which is the law here in Octobay. And then after that, I get to, after all the paperwork, at the end of the week, I will get to bring her home. We will fly home through Moscow.